Trigonometry Basics Three basic trigonometric ratios are sine, abbreviated here as SIN, and that's the opposite side of the angle being evaluated divided by the hypotenuse of the triangle. The cosine, abbreviated COS, is the adjacent side of the triangle divided by the hypotenuse, and the tangent, abbreviated TAN, is the ratio of the opposite side of the triangle to the adjacent side. A sentence that helps me remember these relationships is some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. So the letters are SOH, CAH, and TOA. And from here we can go to sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Using these relationships we can find the measure of all sides of any right triangle if we know just two things, the measure of angle Y plus the length of any side, any of the sides of the triangle. I like to turn my right triangles in this orientation with the right angle in the lower right of the drawing. Then I like to label all the sides as follows. I label the hypotenuse X and the bottom of the triangle X times cosine Y where I, Y is the angle on the left side of the triangle and the right leg X times sine of angle Y. When you are given a number for one side, set that side equal to the expression put in the number of the angle for y. Let's try one out. We here have an angle of 35 degrees and a hypotenuse of 40 meters. To find the base of the triangle, plug in 35 for y and 40 for x. And here they are plugged in. We're going to use the calculator to find the other side. Before scientific calculators came about in the late 1970s, people used to consult books with trigonometry tables, such as this one, to find the answers. To enter in your calculator, first press the mode key where you get the mode menu. We see that radian is selected. Arrow once to the right from radian and press enter to select degree. Press clear to clear the screen. Enter 40 cosine 35 and the close parentheses. The cosine key is labeled COS on the keypad. Press enter. We see that the base is 32.77 meters rounded to the nearest centimeter. We can do the same thing with the height of the triangle by taking 40 times the sine of 35 degrees, which is 22.94 meters rounded to the nearest centimeter. So we start with just one side and an angle and we're able to determine all sides just from that information. Let's try another problem. Fred is flying a kite. He has let out 350 feet of string and his string makes a 40 degree angle of elevation from the ground. He wants to know how high his kite is off the ground. To set it up he labels the hypotenuse X then he labels the height of the triangle X sine 40 degrees and calculates that the kite is 225 feet off the ground. Marty the Boy Scout wants to make a rope crossing of the river and wants to find out how much rope he will need to do the job. He is fixed on a point on the other side of the shore and starts at a point directly opposite that point. He then establishes the third vertex of a right triangle by pacing off 100 feet along the shoreline. He uses his compass to determine the angle at the vertex of the triangle and figures that it is 67 degrees. He constructs a drawing of a triangle to match the one he created by pacing and measuring and flips or reflects the triangle horizontally to orient it the way he's used to with the right angle being in the lower right corner of the triangle. He labels the hypotenuse X. He labels the bottom X cosine 67 degrees. And he labels the right side X sine 67 degrees. Since he knows the base of the triangle, he sets up the equation x times the cosine of 67 degrees equals 100 feet. He uses elementary algebra to solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by cosine 67 degrees. Cosine 67 degrees over cosine 67 degrees cancel on the left side. So he calculates x to be about 256 feet. And to find the distance directly across the river, he uses 256 times the sine of 67 degrees and finds that the distance to be 236 feet, rounded to the nearest foot. So he knows he will need at least 
that much rope to make the crossing at that point. In summary, take a right triangle and reorient it with the lower right with the right angle in the lower right corner. For this triangle we had to rotate it and flip or reflect it. Second, label the sides of the triangle. The hypotenuse is X, the bottom is X cosine angle Y, in this case 55 degrees, and the right side is X sine angle Y, in this case 55 degrees. And finally use the expression to calculate the side or sides of the triangle that are unknown, which in this case is about 57.4 feet for the base of the triangle. This has been Trigonometry Basics. Thanks for viewing.